Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here and I've got a new update for you that could be coming soon to your domain if not already. Recently, Google has updated and given you the opportunity to use the new Gmail integrated experience. And essentially that's adding a new Google Chat, Rooms connected to Chat, and Google Meet that is connected to Google Meet essentially everything in one nice neat place in Gmail. Now you're going to see on the left side of my screen it looks a little bit different where we got those different categories of mail, chat, rooms, and meet. And I'll speak to each of those individually in just a moment. This is a setting that has to be turned on from the domain level and at this time it's not available for those free consumer Gmail accounts so just FYI on that. But it is a pretty cool experience. I've been using it for about two weeks now so I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of my feedback on that as well of what I like and don't like. Personally I'm not real big on it being on the left side of the screen. You do have the opportunity to be able to go to settings. You will see a chat and meet tab and then you can change that in the chat position to the right or the left side. You can click save changes and be off and on your way. Now you also have the opportunity here for turning this off. You can turn chat and you can turn those meet options off which would take away your chat rooms and meet. Now do keep in mind that's just turning it off in this screen. It's not disabling the entire program. You still have access to that in the app launcher in the upper right and you'll see the at symbol with the new chat and then you'll see your Google Meet programs and there's some Chrome extensions that you can enable if your domain allows that of course to give you different pop-up notifications and things of that nature functionality wise even if you're not in that specific tab or program so there is an option there for you to kind of modify things a little bit on your end I'm gonna leave it as is we'll just click on save changes because I want to speak to some of the features now this is going to be replacing your hangouts and most of you probably see on either the lower left corner of your screen which is the default or maybe the right side of the screen because you've moved it it will say Google Meet or meet and then underneath that it will say hangouts and that is the old or classic chat with the new chat you have a number of new features so let's look at that first first up at the very top right of our search box you'll see that there is an active button this will allow you to mute your notifications for X amount of time in other words out of office for X amount until X amount of time and then you can also come back to turn off that do not disturb the one thing that's missing from the chat piece here that I'm not real big on is that you miss out on the custom notification or custom status being able to let people know where you're at what you're doing that kind of a thing so you don't have that option as you do with hangouts but with the new chat feature I really like it because it's got a lot of unique abilities that the other hangouts chat does not if you click on the plus symbol you'll see that from here we can immediately search for a group conversation, a person, a room, a bot. You have message requests from other people and then you can find your different frequently contacted people and little labels on letting you know whether they're external to your domain or not. You want to chat with someone, you click on their name and it pops the chat box up. A little bit different look here. It looks fairly similar. You'll see the active piece up at the very top and the external piece. And then below that, you'll see your plus symbol to the left. And then it will let you know whether history is on or off, just like in Hangouts. But here's what's kind of cool. If you click on the little plus symbol, it will allow you really quickly to toggle that history on and off. I really like that. Another piece that you'll have is you have the emojis for reactions, which some people like that gimmick. And then you have the other piece, which is uploading files from your desktop. You literally can drag and drop a file from your desktop right into your chat box and upload it to your drive as well as to the chat and share it out with someone. And then you've got your Google Drive where you can access files from there and share those out with coworkers. And then you've got the add a video meeting, which is going to go right to Google Meet. I'll speak to Meet in just a minute, but there are some really cool features that are coming to Meet within the next two months or so. In the upper right corner, you'll see the three dot icon where you can view members if it is a group chat or if it is a room and you're chatting inside of that. And then the typical turn off notifications, block and report, hide conversations, delete conversations. Just like in your previous chat, you send a message off, you receive it. This box will pop up if you have it integrated in your mail screen. 
Now another cool thing that has recently been added to the new chat is going to be bots and rooms. So bots. So first off, what are bots? Bots are basically third party or they are connected to your Google account, like in this case my Google Drive piece, that will automatically alert me of, hey, someone's sharing a file with you or someone's requesting access. But you're going to get that notification via chat as opposed to via an email. So that can be a pretty handy piece there. Another addition is rooms. What's really nice about this is that if you think of Hangouts chat, you are able to create a group chat type away you have your virtual department meeting or group chat when you close that box it kind of goes away or you've got to reinitiate it here you can set up a room could be for your training team it could be for sales marketing whatever your team your department your project group you are on and that will always be an active place where if anybody wants to inquire about information or communicate with the team it's already there so you don't have to reestablish that every single time you want that group chat so a great time saver and you can have multiple uh, rooms project groups whatever that you're a part of in that list so that is kind of cool and then down in the bottom right you've got Google Meet I personally have not used this quite a bit yet but one thing that they've added it used to say start or join a meeting and then you would have the other piece of my meetings but it looked different with the my meetings piece you can now click on that and it will show you a list of all of the Google Meet meetings that you have on your docket for that day kind of cool because it will sort out those meetings that don't have a Google Meet link already included. So I kind of dig that and that's kind of a cool feature to be able to use. But most of the time, to be honest with you, I use my Google Calendar piece to the far right side of the screen. So this is where I usually access most of my meetings. So if I have a meeting on my calendar, I'll click on the meeting and then I'll have that meet link inside of that invite and that's where I typically click on it. So I haven't been using this much yet, but not necessarily a bad thing to filter out those things, especially if you have a number of meetings or events on your calendar that you're either doing in person or that you're just putting something on your calendar as maybe a time block off to do something. So it filters those out. You can also start a new meeting right from here and then invite people right away if you want to do that as well. So that is, in a nutshell, the new experience that you're going to eventually see in your Gmail screen. And like I said, this has got to be turned on from the admin level. It's nothing a user can do about it. If you don't see it and somebody else in your domain has it, you might just have to empty your cookies and cache from your Chrome browser. So some of the things that I like or dislike. I like the ability to be able to move that feature from the lower right or lower left corner of the screen to the far right side. I also like the ability to be able to minimize these and click on those little arrows. I also like the idea of being able to turn off meet and chat and rooms if I want to, but then use the standalone applications for each of those if I want. Another thing that I like, I have the ability to, turn, to chat with internal or external people, so that's kind of cool. Probably the thing that I like the most about the new chat is the ability to quickly turn that history on and off with a single click of a button from the main screen. I could be typing in my information to my coworker. I want to go off the record for a moment, turn it off. I want to go back on the record to save it, turn it back on. So a couple of clicks. And then I also really like the drag and drop feature. I can share a file out instantly with someone with that drag and drop piece and that upload from your main desktop view. So I kind of dig that. Um, other things that I like. I like the idea of rooms. I can see that being a great feature and really helpful for a lot of people that are in teams, groups, departments, project groups, that kind of a thing. I think that is really cool. I like the idea of being able to sort my Google Meet meetings out with that My Meetings feature. That's kind of cool. And then bots. Bots are kind of cool in the way of instead of getting the email that someone has shared or made a comment or something like that with your drive files you can get them via your chat which I've started to use a little bit more because if I'm more active and going from laptop to laptop or if I have my uh, phone that's where I'm seeing those heads ups and then I can get on things right away some of the cons it does take up quite a bit of space here it's kind of like having that right side panel always exposed it does take up quite a bit of room but like I said, you've got options to kind of minimize and turn that off if you want to. I don't like the ability of not being able to set a custom status 
with my chat. I use that all the time of if I'm sharing my screen, do not disturb, I'm on a dog walk, at lunch, traveling, things like that. I like being able to personalize my status, but with this new one you can't do. Another piece that I'm going to miss a little bit here is that with Hangouts chat, you have the ability to make phone calls. You can't do that with this feature. So FYI, you'll have to use Google Voice if you're using that. One thing that is coming soon that you can't do yet, there is going to be read receipts for your Google chat. So you'll know when people have read your message. So I will like that piece. And overall, I like the experience but it does take a little getting used to. Like I said, I've been using it for about two weeks now and it's got some really cool features to it. I, I really like some of the aspects, but I'm gonna miss a couple of those other features and I guess that's with anything brand new. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed my overall view of the experience as well as a review of the experience. And until we meet again, another day, another time, another update, this is Gary the Google Guy, signing off. Oh, and one more thing, just to let you know, I'm going to put a link down below here in the description for you to get a little bit more information about this integrated experience. Remember, like I said, this is something that has to be turned on at the domain level, but it will be coming soon for almost all users, if not all. So with that, thanks again, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.